Hey guys, another week. So, let's start out with the new stuff in the garden. Um, this is one tree that I am super excited about. This is a red custard. This guy was pretty pricey. And the reason why it's pretty pricey is because I was told that this is the only custard apple that is self-pollinating. So I'm like, heck yeah, I'm gonna get this. Um, the other custards that I have, you have to hand pollinate them in order to get anything. So hopefully this guy is one of those set it and forget it kind of fruits. It looks like I'm gonna have a few buds there. So it's definitely awesome. All right, and then another new thing, because I am obsessed with building trellises or arbor lately, I built this guy. This is four by eight, or at least the top part is four by eight. And then these guys are just, what is this? One by, you know, it's not a two by four, so it's like a one by two, something like that. Anyway, I built this for my jackfruit. And this guy is growing quite a bit. So this guy is gonna climb all the way up here and hopefully, well, make a new home up there. And then what else? Oh, I took out all the sugar cane from this area. And then this is a black Suriname cherry. I think I've mentioned this in previous videos, but that guy is gonna go right there. Hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna dig a hole and plop them right in. And then I took out some more sugar cane on this side. And this is the boop, 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 red currant. And this gets, this area right here gets about four hours of sun, direct sun. So that guy should be okay there. And yes, it looks like I have a lot of stuff in pots still. But you know what? I've given quite a bit away. Um, what else is new? Oh yes, so I'm starting to put tomato cage around my trees. And this is um, a sweet Thai tamarind. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I keep on hitting the trunk or stepping on the trunk and breaking stuff off. So this is a for sure proof from me and Jacob and the husband. Jacob, what are you doing, buddy? What is this? What is this? All right, let's go. Um, see, here's another hibiscus with a tomato cage around it. And this guy got stepped on a couple of times. Let's see, and I just wanna go over all the new stuff first. Here you go, another tomato cage around that sepadillo tree here. Oh, yes. So the loquat, the big gym from Home Depot, they're doing quite well. And I don't even want to say anything because I don't want to jinx it. But look at the new foliage. Foliage is. It looks amazing. Now, there are some burnts here. Um, and I'm not too worried about the old leaves right now because the new stuff, it's looking fantastic. Here's a look at the other one. Got a moringa flower here. So as you can see here, new stuff, looking great. Old stuff, a little burnt. So, eh, still happy. Can cross my fingers because I really don't want to jinx this. And the tarot. This is the biggest tarot that I had or have. And I went ahead and up pot this into a 15 gallon because 
the root was massive. And I'll insert a, a video after this so you can see how big the roots were or are. Okay guys, so this is the biggest taro plant that I have now. I'm gonna go ahead and repot that into that 15 gallon right there. Well, the holes are dig, so right there. And in the process of moving things around, I broke one of the leaves, not fun. All right, look at the size of the roots. And boom. Okay. Looking good there. The loquat tree that I protected, covered, and did everything for, it's dead, like really dead. So I went ahead and took the cage and used it for, Jacob, can you move, baby? Please, can you move? Ugh. He doesn't want to move. Okay, so I used it for the sugar baby watermelon right there. So hopefully that guy will climb onto this cage and look pretty. So the tomatoes are not looking awesome because it's been ugh, well over, well over 100 degrees in the last couple of days, actually for the whole week. All right, and in the shed area, Really, there's not much that has changed. Not much at all. Um, the, oops, sorry about Jacob's tail there. That papaya right there, that's a Tainung number two. That guy has grown quite a bit. And as you can see, there's a tomato cage around that as well. The loofah, I'm gonna let this guy climb over this trellis and hang out with the blue passion that has been decimated which is okay because it comes back every year and that's what blue passions are for in this garden for caterpillars let's take a look at the sunflowers here here's one head's not that big There's another one right next to it Whew. still head's not that big and then Here's this giant mammoth that's, oh my God. I don't know, this guy's about nine and a half feet. Yep, nine and a half feet. And look at the flower itself. It's pretty small. And then there's this guy right here that's over, 10 feet tall, and there's the flower. No, it's a little dark. Flower's the size of my head. I went ahead and extend these cage, put another, this one, oh, this is four foot, another four feet. So that makes it seven in total for my cucumelon there. And then I went ahead and add another three feet for this guy. And this is the winged bean, the Asian winged beans. These guys are actually doing great. Um, these guys right here, these are rosellas. I'm setting them aside because this new nursery um, that I'm going to, it's pretty funny because the guy asked me if I have any rosella because he can't germinate his and he's willing to buy them off of me, which is kind of unusual because I don't really sell any plants. Armenian cucumbers. Look at this big boy. And then there's little ones over here. This one looks a little deformed because it was like really hot. Like I mentioned earlier, it's been over 110 degrees in the last couple of days. So it does that, but when it cools down, should get back to normal or it won't look as funky. There's more fruits everywhere there. Yep, flowers and fruits everywhere on this Armenian cucumber. Goji berries. Look 
at all the flowers crazy I didn't even realize how much flowers and berries that I have on this guy until a couple hours ago and there's one that's pretty much ripe black sapote this guy really died back during the winter or last winter so it's struggling to come back I don't expect any flowers or fruits this year but next winter I'm definitely gonna cover it give it some give it a coat what is that that's supposed to be a dwarf nabla getting a little big doesn't seem like it's a dwarf thousand finger banana right here is coming back as well died back last winter Ooh, moringa look at all the flowers you guys have never tasted this it's pretty peppery it's really great in scrambled eggs blackberries going crazy let's take a look at the wing beans so in this pot I lost another plant bird plucked it out um, same thing in that pot over there so I went ahead and just sowed some loofah seeds um, all these plants look like they're struggling a little bit so I think next year I might start them a little later or just leave them in the greenhouse. So I'm thinking about inserting all the pictures that I uploaded or that I post on Instagram um, into my weekly video here because I post on Instagram daily. So I figure why not just go ahead and slide in a clip of all the pictures start from back here again so quince still looking pretty pretty good all the fruits are still on there nothing has dropped since last week um, the sapote on the other hand I had a lot of fruits dropped I don't know whether it's the heat um, or it wasn't pollinated correctly I don't know but I'm not too sad because as you can see there I have quite a few fruits on the tree all right what's new in this area nothing really besides as you can see no more corn took them all out ate them a couple of days ago and it was delicious like super Alright guys, nothing else to report here, and as always, thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and please, please, please stay safe. Peace out.